On August 4, 2025, at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, a new era in mobile artillery was born. For years, a few names have dominated the conversation when it comes to top-tier artillery. Germany's Panzerhaubitze 2000s, France's Caesar, Sweden's Archer, and of course one of the most widely recognized, America's high-mobility rocket system, the M142 HIMARS. But on that August morning, something even more powerful was successfully tested. Introducing GMARS, the Global Mobile Artillery Rocket System. Built by US defense giant Lockheed Martin and Germany's Rhine Metal, GMARS isn't just an upgrade, it's a bold leap forward. With twice the firepower and greater tactical flexibility, it's designed to reshape how modern armies fight. But what exactly makes it so powerful? GMARS builds on the proven success of existing systems like HIMARS and the tracked M270 MLRS. While HIMARS carries a single rocket pod, GMARS is equipped with two, mounted on a heavy-duty 8x8 wheeled chassis. That means it can fire up to 12 rockets in a single salvo, double the capacity of HIMARS. And it's not just about firepower. The new wheeled platform, based on Rheinmetall's HX series, offers high speed, up to 62 miles per hour, and better road performance than tracked systems. This makes it ideal for rapid repositioning in fast-changing combat zones, while also reducing maintenance needs. Even more impressive, GMARS is capable of firing ATACM's tactical missiles, the next-gen precision strike missile and may soon support cruise missiles and 122mm rockets, giving it unmatched flexibility on the battlefield. We've already seen how effective mobile rocket artillery can be. HIMARS has become a game-changer for Ukraine, a battlefield lifeline known for its precision and mobility. One striking example came on July 21st, when footage showed a HIMARS strike destroying a Russian S-300 air defense battery. The HIMARS positioned in Kharkiv, with its accuracy still able to hit a target that's dozens kilometers away across the border in the Belgorod region. This wasn't just another missile launch. It was a direct hit on a high-value air defense system, disabling a major layer of Russia's protection and clearing the skies for future operations. The strike demonstrated how HIMARS can penetrate deep into enemy territory, striking with accuracy before quickly relocating. Now imagine that same kind of precision, delivered with twice the payload. That's exactly what GMARS is designed to do. So here's the question. If HIMARS was the weapon that turned the tide in Ukraine, could GMARS be the system that shapes the wars of tomorrow? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.